Whoa! <laughs> hey there! Didn't see you come in. You may be wondering why I'm playing a video game in my boxer shorts. Well, it's not just to show off these sexy games of mine, it's to make a point. See, us gamers, we have access to a lot of modern conveniences. We have the ability to play video games in our own homes. Don't even have to put on pants to play. But it wasn't always like this. It used to be you uh, had to go to a place called an arcade, a strange room filled with bright lights and sounds, and sweaty teenagers playing Pac-Man. Now, some say the time of these arcades has passed, that we've no need for them now that half of all American households own a video game console of some sort. And yet at Arcade Infinity, a small arcade in Southern California, the tokens have continued to flow for almost a decade now. Uh, I've been coming to AI for about 10 years. Oh, uh, geez, years? Lots of years. We come here on and off, when, occasionally when the homies hit me up, come out, play some video games. To the outsider, Arcade Infinity would likely appear terrifying. A dimly lit hall cramped full of glowing game monitors and a deafening chorus of electronic nonsense. Though, for these arcade junkies, Arcade Infinity is like Mecca. I like AI because of the, the way they support the Japanese video games. You don't find that at other arcades. The competition is the best in Southern California here. AI, I love this place! I mean, I've been to James Games, I've been to Super, Sasani in LA, I've been there, but nothing compares to AI. Unlike more traditional arcades, at AI, there is no skee-ball. No pimply-faced teenager waiting to redeem your prize tickets for pixie sticks and spider rings. What it offers instead is an incredible assortment of imported Japanese arcade games, all geared towards the hardcore gaming crowd. It's very unique. It's, it's more for the uh, hardcore gamer. I'm a big DDR person. Unfortunately, I can't play as good as I used to. All the Japanese games, Gundam vs. Gundam Next, um, that that like anime uh, bubble game. Mostly 2DX and DDR, but uh, I, I dip into Poppin' every now and then, Drum Mania, Guitar Freak, Street Fighter, uh, Technica. I'm pretty but now, actually, I'm here for uh, the closeout on Saturday. Wait, what did he say? I'm glad to be out here on their last uh, week. That's right. In late December, word came down that Arcade Infinity, one of the most beloved arcades in all of Southern California, would be shutting its doors for good. The community was shocked. Yeah, I heard. I saw the Facebook page, and then my friend shot me the Facebook page. I hit it up. I'm like, yeah, I gotta go. If it's the last time this place is gonna be around, I gotta be here. Uh, I was crushed because it's such a special place that we always go to. And just that, that sinking, sinking feeling that I was thinking about a while. Wow, I can't believe Arcade Infinity is gonna be gone. This place has shaped so many different people's lives. I'm imag I imagine it takes people off the streets. You know the fact that they were taking it away from us? I, could, I, ha I didn't know what to say. But the real question was, why was Arcade Infinity closing? Why was this mainstay of the arcade scene unable to make ends meet? We talked to the owner, Ken, as well as some of the players, but it seems nobody had a clear answer. Uh, four years ago, still good. For the past four years, uh, not, not me. I mean, the economy, it's affecting everything, you know. Because not many people are making money right now, a lot of unemployment out there. But actually, also, I think, like, what hit really hard is that there's, like, a, a regulation. They used to allow this arcade open until 4 a.m. in the morning. After the economy and force uh, closed earlier, uh, everyone, uh, everything jumped up. So was that it, then? Was the combination of bad business and a county ordinance enough to close one of the most famous arcades in California? And if it did, where would the players go? If this place closed down, like, I don't even know. It's like, it would be really sad for the community that always comes out here. Like, the Rolling Heights people would have to either head to Walnut or Point Hills Mall. I think there's only two keyboard manias in SoCal that I know of, and one of them's in someone's house. So, actually, I have no idea. You know, probably some other arcades, you know, try to build something up, but no one can beat AI. AI is the number one place to be. But the one question you might be asking yourself is why should we care? What purpose does an arcade serve now that the latest video games can all be played at home? The gamers we spoke to all had a simple answer. People! I, I love meeting people! I literally met about 80% of my friends through some sort of, of, of interaction with AI. I play a fighting game, I would love to meet the people I fight against. I play a music game, I like to uh, meet other people with uh, the same skills or better skills. It's always rivalries, but at the end... It, we all, you know, live in family. You know, AI is actually is a place for us to have a family. That's what it is. That's that's what arcades are. It's meeting people in the arcade, in the community, and making friends. I, didn't, I wouldn't have any friends if I was just playing at home all the time. So is that it for arcades? These once strong pillars of gaming forced to close, the Street Fighter machines put out to pasture? That's what I'd thought. But at the last minute, there was a glimmer of hope. Uh, the landlord wanted to help me to... The, the open, so they they talk, 
they come to the county and uh, we, we can extend the permit. At the last minute, the city of Roland Heights had put another token in the machine, agreeing to relax its permit fee in order to help the small business out. And thus, what was supposed to be a funeral turned into a celebration. Over 100 gamers showing up for what was supposed to be the arcade's last day. I'm so excited. I'm so psyched right now. Yeah, I'm so happy. Well, when I found when I found out the news, I was like, "Thank you, God." The owner uh, Ken told us, and um, you know, we had like a little meeting, and there you have it. The good news spread out. Actually, the city will let us stay for a while. Definitely a very relieving. So I'm really glad it's not closing up and I hope it stays there permanently. Oh yeah, hell, hell yeah, because like I still have my tokens and I got I gotta get rid of my tokens. I gotta play games and stuff. Buy lots of tokens, keep this place alive. If okay, uh, if everything okay, we can extend uh, 10 years. 10 more years, let's do it. 10 more years, 20 more years. I'm down to see it. Do not let this die. This is the last good place we have, man. Because you you guys are all we got. Keep this alive, keep this going, support, support this. Keep it going. You guys rock. Now though this looks to be a happy ending, Arcade Infinity obviously isn't out of the woods yet. The economy's still bad and frankly the American arcade scene is still dying. So this is a plea to all you gamers out there. If you've got an arcade in your community that can maybe use a little love, why don't you put down the controller, put on some pants, and go buy yourself some tokens. You'll be helping out a small business, having a lot of fun, and who knows, maybe you'll get enough tickets to buy some stale Laffy Taffy. Or like one of those little parachute guys. Okay, the prizes kind of suck, but come on, help them out!